Good afternoon. I'm your host, Lindsay Latham, and I'm coming to you live with some breaking news. We all know there are many issues surrounding our educational system, but tonight I'm coming to you with one, and that one is school climate. What impact, if any, does the school's climate have on students? The people want to know, and I'm here to give facts. Studies have shown that climate, the climate of a school does, in fact, have an impact on students. And there are a few ways that we're going to go over with. The first way is behavior. Some schools have begun to implement positive behavior interventions and supports. What these do is they help improve social, emotional, behavior, and academic outcomes for all students. A study was done using these climate data for in an elementary school in Georgia. Um, it wanted to examine the effects of school-wide positive behavior interventions and supports. And school-wide results showed that there was a decrease in problematic behavior throughout the school. Um, in fact, the author of this um, study stated that these findings are encouraging and suggested that if the mechanisms leading to the positive impacts in schools can be identified, that ultimately those mechanisms can be implemented in all schools and actualize the positive effects on social climate. Positive behavior is important for two reasons. It's important because it allows the teacher to teach. And if the teacher can teach, then it brings me to my second point, and that is that the students have the opportunity to soak up and retain the information that they are learning in class. Um, if Without the behaviors interrupting, the teacher is able to do her job and the student is able to do their job and learn. The next is safety. A study on students' perceptions of school climate was done regarding bullying. Um, they wanted to ask students' perceptions about how positive climate in schools could help them combat bullying. Some rep recommendations from those students on positive climate in schools was that teachers and administrators alike could help build that through adequate levels of order, meaning to keep the behavior in check, which was number one, by also promoting increased levels of care and connectiveness. Students want to know that their teachers, their administrator, their lunchroom leaders, ladies, their custodians, their PE teachers, everybody that they're surrounded with every day cares about them. They want that connection with them that they can come to school and have a positive interaction because at home, many may not even get that. And their positive interaction needs to be at school. They don't need to feel unsafe at school. A third thing that the students recommended was to empower them with social skills and awareness. This is giving them a way that they can speak for themselves. I'm not going to be a part of that bullying. This isn't right behavior. I can do better than this and be leaders instead of followers by giving them the empowerment. Safety is important for teachers as well as students. Teachers want to feel safe when they go to work every day. They want to come home to their families. Students want to feel safe when they're there. Like I said before, a lot of students don't have that safety at, at home. So they, want, they deserve that safety at school. And positive climate in schools can help yield that safeness to help them learn. And thirdly, it impacts them through their academics. A study was done in 2022 that yielded the results that said positive school climate was in fact conducive to academic success among students despite their many social and economic risks. What this means is that whether or not they are popular, they are not popular, whether they are the captain of the football team or whether they don't do anything, but just school, whether they are rich, whether they are poor, that they can still have positive academic growth through a positive school climate. And I think this is very important because if we can yield that positive school climate through behavior, through safety, 
it can help grow academics because the students are not worried about their safety and they're not worried about problematic behaviors happening. And again, like I said, they can focus on their academics. And if they can focus on their academics, then they are able to work toward a successful future. So it's very important. Through all of my reading and my research, I've come across doing this project. It all falls together. Positive climate school, positive school climate yields positive outcomes, less behavior problems, more safety, growth in academics, whereas a negative school climate will yield negative results. So thank you for joining me tonight in learning what, how, how schools climate impacts our students. Thank you and good night.